Hello, I'm Cal Hellraiser's friend, Joey C. Jones. We're about 40 miles north of New York City at famous Woodstock, New York. And I'm getting ready to talk about my friend Cal, who I miss so much. Cal and I became friends in 1985. He's one of the first American musicians that he contacted. We, since 1985, we were in touch. I was the last person to speak to him via phone call. Kel was always mad at me. Once the internet stuff came in, I was still saying, now we're gonna be talking over the phone. No Skype, no that, let's just talk. I was told that I was the last person to speak to him on the phone. And he'd done so much for my band, Sweet Savage. And there are people that said no one in Europe would even know who Poison was if it wasn't for Kel. That is true. I'm sure the Poison guys are doing these great tributes for him. Uh, Kel and I spent some time together in 1987 in Hollywood. Just had a blast. Um, for many years, my best friend who's gone now was uh, one of the largest immigration attorneys in the world. And I begged Kel to come live, with, come, come live with me. And he loved his mother so much. And it's one of the reasons why he's not here today is because he lost his mom. And I lost my mom when I was young, and when Kel's mom was getting sick, I tried to give him a little bit of advice how to, to deal with what's getting ready to happen, and he was able to deal with it for a while, and then it just became a little too much, and I know exactly how it feels, and I'm sure a lot of people viewing this know how they feel about their mothers that are no longer with us. But Kel did so much. He was Mr. Shades Records. He was the guy that had got Sweet Savage number one on the import charts that was all Kelv Hellraiser and I without Kelv Hellraiser and Sweet Savage I wouldn't even be here today because no one would even know my name I'd still be a hillbilly in Ohio and I am a hillbilly and uh, Kelv I think of you every day I'm going to honor your memory every day and I always said the two people that done the best job of keeping the 80s hair rock alive was Kelv Hellraiser and Stevie Rochelle of Tough and when Kel passed, um, Stevie's headline was Goodbye Glam Rock God. And he was the Glam Rock God. And he's just so loved and so respected and such a worker. And done so much for American bands and just so many bands. And he's, he was a walking encyclopedia of rock and roll history and he just loved everything. And he's, he's in a better place. and. Uh, Kel, I will be with you, brother. And as you can tell by looking at me, I'm not that far away. Uh, and, um, and we will rock forever in rock and roll heaven, which is real. And uh, I love you, Kel, more than... I love you, Kel. And I'm glad that I was able to do this from my Woodstock, because Kel and I talked about Woodstock. We were too young to know what was going on, but this is very important. And I want to thank Ben Harper for asking me to do this video and my dear friend Joey Holdren for doing the video. Kelv, I love you, buddy. I'll be there. Let's rock. Kelv, you are forever. I love you.